Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's talk hook up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. And welcome back, hour number two, Let's Talk Hook Up, right here on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and radio network. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. World headquarters of Let's Talk Hook Up right next to Foggy Fisherman's Landing here in San Diego. <laughs> yeah. uh, getting ready for Tackle Day one week from today. And uh, what an exciting, I mean, I can't believe that first hour flew by. I know, did. We heck? have some very patient callers. Hang in there, guys. We're going to get to you. We <laughs> promise. But uh, what a great prize we're giving away today, too. Right? Man, you're not kidding. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, a $50 gift card is going to one lucky caller to Fisherman's Landing Tackle. You're going to get to come hang out with us and have a little tackle shop shopping spree. Now, what could you get on a deal at Fisherman's Landing Tackle for 50 bucks? <laughs> Give us an example. Um, well, I wanted to mention some of the stuff that Gamakatsu is doing. Oh, so yeah. So first of all, you can buy two and get one free. So there's 33% off. Then anybody that buys $25 worth, so if you got a $50 so gift card. So buy two Gamakatsu, get one free. Yes. So you, you buy... $25 worth of gamakatsu. You go out to their booth. They're going to give you, I don't know if you've seen these blue um, tackle inserts that are like the 36 and 3700 yes. size. Um, I had no idea how nice they actually were. And we got, we finally put them in because everybody was raving about them. Um, you know, and they, they're in that, you know, 15 to 20 buck range. So they're going to give you one of those. Wow. Then anybody that buys any gamakatsu can go to the gamakatsu booth sign up for a drawing for one of their new uh, G7000 tackle I systems. I love that tackle system. And I have one. It's so it's a, it's a hard box. It's a royal blue in color. So you might have mm -hmm. seen them starting to show up on the boats. And then you can buy accessories. You can buy a rod holder. You can buy a jig holder. Yeah. I mean, they've got different things that you can mount on the uh, on the box itself. Right. So, so they've got a lot of stuff going. Um, we have the ever-famous... So you could do that with uh, your $50 yes. gift card. Yeah. Um, the ever-famous uh, and unfortunately, I think this is going to be the last year it's because I think they did discontinued them. But the liquid sticks, we've sold almost 2,000 of those rods. Everybody's oh, familiar with those. We sell them at $59.95 in the store. They're 50% off, so they're $29.95. So you come in there with your $50 gift card and a $10 bill. You walk away with two sticks. How about that? <laughs> so that's yeah, well. yeah, we'll take that <laughs> for deals. sure. Well, let's find out what's biting out there. You got it, bro. It's time for the fishdope.com report today, sponsored by Dana Landing on Mission Bay, your one-stop shop for everything you need to go fishing. A complete saltwater tackle shop. They have a full deli. They do Mexican and California licenses, trips and six-pack charters. And when it comes to freshwater tackle, check out East County Bait and Tackle full of all the freshwater tackle and live bait that you need for a great day in the lake. Dana Landing is right across from SeaWorld next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay and East County Bait and Tackle. They're at the end of the 67 Freeway at Maple View and Lakeside. Check DanaLanding.com for more info. And we got our man, our private boater buddy, the FishDope.com reporter, Captain Mark Wish is on the line. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Ricky, Pete, Doug. Happy Halloween, everybody. And, uh, man, it's not fair that you guys get to have all that fun next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait. That, that's going to be awesome. So, guys, hard to believe here we are at the end of October and still plenty of opportunities offshore, man. So I'm going to start at the island first out here at the famous Catalina. Steady fishing at that island continues. It is just amazing how well it is held up there. Um, for sure, conditions took a huge hit early this week with that first big northeast of the season that was the real deal guys and for those of you that don't have any experience with what a northeast is like at catalina you may want to take a look oh, at some I of the pictures the on the internet <laughs> it's not a pretty picture and uh yeah you, you definitely want to be paying attention to the weather at this time of year but you know that front side got blasted but it, it really bounced back quickly lost a little bit of water temperature but not too much and uh, there's still lots of that bonito around, and a lot of it this week was that big stuff, that four, five, six, seven pound stuff like that. Fun fishing, and then a little less yelltail overall for sure. 
but those big ones are still around, and man, there's some tanker grade fish hanging out there. When that squid shows up and concentrates them a little more, that's going to be fun stuff. It's been both front side and back side, and this week probably a little more west than east. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty neat seeing that much of that big yellow around. No Santa Barbara Island. Uh, report this week, but some good signal from Comedi here. Uh, good grade yellow has been hanging around on the back. You know, it's been best up around eel, and then uh, some encouraging sign uh, on those big ones again on the deeper water off China Point out toward Desperation Reef there. So uh, there is kind of developing. Uh, no word on squid from either island yet, but there is a little bit of squid showing up out there on the outside banks there, Tanner and Cortez. It's those outside banks that's really captured the headlines here again this week. Absolutely incredible volume of that bluefin tuna hanging around the bank up in the shallows proper. The guy's sitting up on the high spots on the anchor there uh, catching yellows in that school size bluefin. But, man, you slip out over that 100-fathom edge, especially at nighttime with that flat fall rigs on heavy tackle, <laughs> you better be hanging on. Then another amazing week on 200 to up to nearly 400-pound uh, fish out there. Just absolutely unbelievable opportunity so close to home and at this time of year. And then for big fish <clears throat> closer to home, guys, a little uptick in the deep drop swordfish fishery here this past week. Several fish caught that I know of. And, you know, a lot of that stuff's within 20 miles of the beach. You don't have that 100 mile ride. So wow. there is still a lot going on for this time of year. And we got a nice stretch of weather for a few days, but it looks like things are changing for next weekend. So Probably get out get now, out, right? Go catch something. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah for it, sure. And, uh, of course, fishdope.com. Been following it. Danny and Jeff and the boys just been on it. The local fishing, that, that bluefin tuna, the island fishing, everything up and down the coast. They're on it. 20 bucks off a new membership. The fishdope.com using the code HOOKUPNOW. Lowercase, no space. HOOKUPNOW is your $20 code. And for the world's best bait tanks and great advice, how do we find Mark Wish? Uh, Pete, we're in Huntington Beach. We're on the corner of Bowles of Chica and Edinger. Phone number at the store is area code 714-840-4262. The website's PacificEdgeTackle.com. And, yeah, we are cranking out them bait tanks. It's just insane how big it is. Doug, you got a Pacific Edge tank on your boat? <laughs> yes, I do. Pete, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I got one, too. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have them. There you the go. The <laughs> got to have them. Hey, thanks, thanks Mark. Guys. Appreciate that very much. We'll talk to you next Saturday. See you, Mark. And uh, while we're waiting it. for Marcos, let's go ahead and jump to the phones. You got it, man. A lot of patient callers. Yeah, you're not kidding. How about we talk to Ed, who's gone us from Mira Mesa this morning. Hi, Ed. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi guys. Hey, um, I've got a, a question about that Speedmaster uh, too. Have any of you uh, used that as far as uh, for castability on it? And then also, uh, what size would you recommend for around here, like you know the Coronados, uh, you know one day range or something, you know of that nature? So the Speedmaster is basically the the almost twin brother to the Talica series. So if you're familiar with Talica. They make a 12, a 16, a 20, and a 25. Wouldn't surprise me down the road if they come up with some other sizes, but for now, all four of those, um, they're great casting lever drag reels. It's amazing the technology that's come down the pipe where lever drag reels didn't used to cast very well, and um, they've just been able to uh, make the spools lighter and uh, the bearings better and the engineering is better. So. You know, you'd be able to cast a sardine. Um, you don't worry too much about that with the flat falls and some of the jigs. But, you know, poppers, um, you can get away casting a popper. Wow. As far as the the super local fishing. Let's so does it cast like a talica? Is it, is it just as good? Very similar, very yes. Similar. I would say so. Yeah. Um, as far as the size that you're going to want to use in, in our local waters for those 10 to 50 pound game fish, and and even up to 100 pounds, um, the 12 is the smallest size. So that's the size you're going to be looking at for, you know, if you're talking about slow trolling for a yellowtail or, um, you know, dropping a flat fall for, you know, those school size. We call them school size now, 80 pounders. <laughs> that used to be the, the monster. But anyway, that's a school size tuna now. And, um, and then you just go on up the ladder, uh, depending on, you know, if you're going to be flat falling for the, the big ones, you go with a 25 or a 20. I mean, we heard that Talica fish, you know, a 20 caught a 306 pounder, less the guts. So, I mean, it's probably a 330 some pounder. 
Um, and uh, so, yeah, I, I think that's a very, and for the, the price, I mean, you're talking about a $250 lever drag two speed that will do the job very nicely. It's not a Talica. It's not a Talica. But it's half the price, right? It's, it's less than half the price. Less than half it's, it's less than half the price. It's $300 less. Yeah, it's wow. less than half the price, and it's more than half the reel. You know, like, wow. that's what I, that's why that's I a good way to say so it. Much. That's yeah. a good way. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. the same with the, the Toriums versus the Trinidad. You know, it's 75% of everything that that Trinidad has, but for half the price, less than half the price. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning, Ed. Appreciate thanks, it. Coach. All right. Let's continue with our catch port. Talk to the man, Marcos from C4 Sport Fishing's on the line. What's up, Marcos? Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Good morning, Marcos. Great. What's going Great. on at C4? Happy, Any happy all in. caught there? Well, let's put it this way. If it weighs less than 300 pounds, we're probably not going to bother weighing it. <laughs> I know I've been trying to get some of your captains over there, like Jim Hughes and Captain Ryan Bosch. I've been trying to get them on the show. It's like, no, we're working too busy. Yeah, too busy. Don't, don't have a weekend. We'll talk to you in December. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah I, I mean, legit, there's some big bluefin coming in. I mean, the tribute came back with a 270-pounder today. Pacific wow. came back yesterday. They had one just over 300 pounds, a 217 a 207 they had 10 fish in that 80 to 180 pound range Cortez or the Endeavor had you know, I think 12 fish between 120 and 260 pounds earlier in the week we saw 275 the Pacifica had a 332 earlier in the week so if you want to shot at one of those big bluefin now's a good time to get out there and do it because who knows how long this will last I mean we always talk about having great fish in September October but at some point it's got to end hopefully you know those fish don't all go away but we're still catching them, so definitely check the schedule there. Those day and a half, mostly there, some one day, some two days, longer trips in there also. Uh, not to discount the full day. The full day's got some very good fishing going on right now, too. Lots of yellowtail, yellowfin, dorado, skipjack. Sea Watch yesterday had 70 yellowfin on their full day trip, so lots of good fish all around. Those half day trips, lots of good bottom fishing, some calico bass sneaking in there. Had a nice yellowtail yesterday morning, some bonita in the count, so. You'd never guess that uh, it's November tomorrow, the way fishing is right now. So. Yeah, yeah, right? Uh, Crazy. Hard to believe. Well, uh, C4 Sport Fishing such a great operation with great boats. How do we get a hold of you there? Check the website, c4thlanding.com. Our full schedule is up there. You see the same thing we do. You can make reservations right online there. Give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. More than welcome to come down, visit some person, make a reservation, get some tackle there, and get out on the water. If you want to see pictures of some of these fish, definitely check our social media. See Fourth Landing pretty much everywhere on Twitter and Instagram and pictures of all those fish we get up there. So lots of ways to get in contact here. Get out on the boat. Don't put your gear away yet. Especially don't put your heavy gear around if you want to get a shot at some of those big bluefin. Marco's Tackle Day is coming up next Saturday, and if you'd like to come by and see what the greatest tackle store in San Diego looks like, totally open invite. We'd love to have you come down. No problem. No, we'll Dustin didn't tell me they're setting up over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of best talk shops, Pete, did you get those uh, products you ordered from us picked up? I did, yes. As a matter of uh, fact, my, my new Promar Nets, absolutely. And Dan Hart, who runs a tackle store over there, an extraordinary man, uh, doing a fine, fine job. Yes, he Yeah, you, you know where to shop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate that, Marcos, and we'll talk to you next week. See you, Marcos. We'll talk to you then, guys. All right. That's going to wrap up our catch board today. Some really good fishing going on today. Indeed. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump back in the phones. You Rick. got it, Packed man. Up. How about this time we talked to Dave. He's calling us from Long Beach this morning. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, you guys. How's everything? Morning, Dave. What's, up, What's Dave? going on? Hey, hey. First off, great show. And uh, thanks for your guys' merch. You guys got some outstanding merch. I got a hat and a sturdy shirt. So I appreciate the quality in that. Nice. Awesome. Hey, uh, real quick, I had a quick question, uh, Rick. I'm looking into that new Abbott Star Drag, but haven't been able to find it anywhere. So I was just kind of wondering what your uh, outlook is on that and uh, what would be a good rod to pair that with, just for a uh, mid-grade yellowtail and something, you know, fish mainly uh, 20 to 50-pound fish. Yep. Uh, to be honest, I personally have not seen a prototype of that reel myself, and uh, so I don't know the status of that reel. But um, uh, what um, what pound test uh, are you anticipating putting on on a reel like that? Anything from uh, twenty five to thirty. Okay, so mono. Probably yeah. going to be primarily a bait reel, uh, so you need. A yeah, that's that what I mean. Like mainly uh, fish in Catalina. You know, I come down a few times a year to, uh, for you guys for the 
you know, made great stuff on the day boats, maybe overnight, but yeah. uh, mainly the finicky yellowtail up here, Catalina. Okay, and I, I could see throwing a Colt sniper with an, an outfit like that, you know. Um, and so I prefer an eight foot rod for a reel like that. And, um, you know, probably off the top of my head, something like a Calstar Graphiter uh, 7 or 800 light would be a really good choice for that. Or even a, you know, you could go to a, you know, slightly heavier one if you're going to fish more 30, you know, maybe a medium, something like that, you know, an eight, eight foot. Uh, something with a fairly lighter tip and a heavier butt section. But, um, yeah, that, seven, that 800 light is a really good choice for that. All right. Cool. Great. Good question. All hey, right, thanks thank a lot. you. Thanks a lot for the call, and we'll see you at Tackle Day one week from the day at Fisherman's Landing. Ricky, you have a, a text from our app, right? I, I, I do. There's been lots of great ones that have come through. This one from our good buddy Jeff at Cedros Kayak Fishing, and Doug, you kind of just touched on it right at the end there. He wants to know if uh, we'll have any of the cheap blanks that we typically sell at Fred Hall available for Tackle Day. Great show and miss oh, you guys. That's oh, from our good buddy right. Jeff Mariani yeah. over at uh, yeah. Cedros well, that Kayak. That was just the bottom of the ninth, two outs, two, you know, two guys on and and we we hit the single we got uh, 224 really nice blanks i was surprised at the quality um we pulled on them hard and um you know bottomed them out and the whole thing and uh you know medium fast tapers seven foot eight foot um 1995 that's going to be one of our and and nicely finished too you know a lot of times you'll see in some of the really killer deal blanks you'll see some of the they call them unsanded or unfinished blanks they've got the ridges and and that is a blank that is still 100 percent appropriate and strong um it just maybe doesn't have the same fit and finish that does because the sanding process is just a a labor intensive process that adds a lot of cost to the blank but these are completely finished blanks they don't have the ridges they're they look like any other fantastic high dollar saltwater rod but yeah it's yep. a 20 dollar blank Absolutely. holy mackerel that's cool <laughs> hey good good question one more i uh, hear uh from kurt and moval which i'm guessing is moreno valley yeah would that be right that would make good. sense that's like the local lingo <laughs> i guess right Mo- well, you wow. know about Mo- and he Mo-Val? says moval in socal moval in socal there you go how will parking be at tackle day and is there any place that we should not park this will be my first tackle day can't wait and uh right okay, well, that's, a, that's, that's a, a really good, good, question good question because normally this time of year we have wide open parking in right. all lots so but the fisher bite um you know our our lot right in front of the landings will probably be for the most part um filled up but you might find a place in there earlier in the day um, or if you come in the afternoon and when the half day boats get in at you know 12 30 1 o'clock um, you might see a few empty out in in the main lot then just uh, towards downtown, just right outside of our parking lot, like, you know, 10 feet outside of our parking lot, there's the 72-hour free parking in front of Pizza Nova. Now, here's where it gets tricky. They are marked. The ones directly in front of Pizza Nova and Sun Harbor are two-hour parking, and they definitely will tow you. No, no, no the ones in front of Pizza Nova right right here are, are, are there, it, there's a small strip there, right? Yeah, there. Just mar- make sure you watch. But they're the, they're clearly marked. Yeah, they're so clearly marked. Two-hour parking. It's for the people wanting to come and eat in the restaurant and right, so forth. Right. Right. Um, and then down uh, maybe a block. It's I mean it it would take you 120 seconds to walk from that parking lot to yeah. our parking lot. Kind of almost across from the Westies lot. Would be it it's, it is the Westies yeah. lot um, between the uh, Best Western and the Holiday Inn across the street on Harbor Drive. There's 200 spaces down there. And then if those are all taken up, I mean we we are going to have some boats leaving Friday night. I'm sure. Um, then you can usually find something in the neighborhoods and the residential areas. So you might have to drive around a little bit. So I'm not going to say it's going to be 100% open, but this is our 17th one, and somehow everybody's managed to make it. So um, if you have to walk a little bit, you know, hopefully it'll be a nice day and, and you can just uh, find a place and come cruising in the lot and enjoy yourself and then yeah. walk, walk do, back to your vehicle. Do not park in the pizza nova lot you will be towed yep i can tell you that for a fact yes because i've seen it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah this you, is where i am yeah, and you, you, like, you, you told us the story you made you made shed get towed yeah we yeah, all, yeah, we all yeah, exactly. yeah, <laughs> yeah you will get towed. Times. <laughs> all right let's go ahead and jump into the phones and talk to ron lane from fast lane kayaks uh good morning ron hey ron hey guys Hey, what a great hey, show. So you I think the did timing. a great job of representing us on our Let's Talk Hookup Shogun six-day trip. And uh, boy, oh boy, I, all I can say is I Pete. wish I could have been there. <laughs> yeah. Pete, 
I can't believe that that was my first long range trip ever. That is crazy, isn't I it? Mean, huh? Now, are that's you a game now? changer. Yeah. Debbie, Debbie said to me, she goes, you better start saving your money for next year. <laughs> and exactly. one of the reasons is uh, I was fishing with a, a gentleman named Jody, and he had his daughter on the boat, and she bought, she caught a fish. I was so jealous. The man's fishing with his daughter. She caught a fish twice as big as herself. I mean, it was <laughs> ridiculous. Ah, that's rad. I, I was so jealous. I'm going, man, you're having a, quite a trip from the get-go. All those guys took me under their wing, made sure I knew how it all worked, the teamwork. The crew was like a coaching team. It was like you had your own personal fishing coaches, and they didn't make it like they were telling you. They, they, it almost was um, like they were coaching you without coaching you, like they were more cheering for you. You know, it's like, yeah. Right. Uh, now, now, Ron, so since this was your first long range trip, we get a lot of people that ask us, well, you know, I'm not sure I'm ready for a six day trip. I mean, do you need to warm up before you go on a six day trip or are you going to get all the coaching you need? No, no. Some men fish all their lives and don't realize it's not the fish they're after. That's Henry David Thoreau said that. I had so many of those moments on this trip. Not only was I learning how to do it, and guys are showing me the right techniques. I mean, th this was amazing. I watched little guys catch their personal best, and everybody was happy for them. It was, it was so much fun. Yeah, it's You heard crazy. Scott earlier today. This guy is a, you know, he's a long ranger. And he, he caught his personal best fish, and he never got to see that fish. And I, I took a picture of him with that little reel and that little rod. I'm going, and I saw the fish, and I go, there's no way he's getting that thing in. A little and those guys Calica 20. <laughs> Calica 20. Yeah. yeah and, oh, and then, he was talking about air, uh, the whole conversation with Ricky, how he had coached him up and had them all have the right stuff. Well, yeah, that whole cool. boat, Renee and Dave and Connor, Bobby and Kazi, I had experiences around the boat with all of them. And all of them, they helped you out like they were, it's almost like you're fishing with your uncle or something. It yeah. felt like a well, family. Well, listen to the stats on this. So Scott caught the uh, jackpot fish at 306 Guild and Gutted. These are all Guild and Gutted weights. Uh, Eddie Means, uh, congratulations. Eddie, Eddie Means. Uh, Eddie's a great guy and uh, was always my roommate on the Let's Talk <laughs> Hookup trip. Uh, 212 for Eddie <laughs> on second place. Hey, wait, and, then there's some, and then some Hang guy named second. Ron Lane caught the third place jackpot for 159. But wait. That was not the I biggest fish on the boat because David Ortega caught a 328. 328 gilded and gutted. That's oh a 375-pounder. So Jen says oh, there were monster. three fish over 300 pounds, and there were five over 200 pounds and a lot over 100 pounds. Right, Ron? Oh, uh, uh, gobs. Now, that Eddie Means fish, we had just eaten a dinner cooked by Dustin and Daniel, and these guys are chefs, like sushi chefs, and the, everything was unique, and I felt like I was eating at a resort. And <laughs> <laughs> so right after dinner, I'm sitting wallowing there, ready to go to sleep, because I slayed so many tuna, and then Eddie goes jotting out the back, throws his flat fall over, and instantly on, a, on that fish, a mondo. It was oh. like, here's this old guy leading the charge, and we all go running out, and we had round two. It was it was amazing. That's uh, so cool. unbelievable. What, what a trip, trip. and uh, what an opportunity for people to go catch a fish of a lifetime right now on on one of the no San doubt, Diego Sport man. fishing boats. So, Ron, oh, and, Ryan, and I, you're I, planning. I, let me, wait, let me take you're a guess. Are you, are you hooked? Day. Oh, I'm so hooked. And <laughs> you're planning tackle day. I mean, this is like, um, I don't know, how, how you say, perfect timing, walk on the boat, all these great guys. <laughs> coach me up and then i got tackle days to go fill up my arsenal for next year <laughs> that's cool I, and i hope every single one of those people that were on that boat are on the next year's 
list, and they, you better not miss it. Well, a lot of them are already a part, are already signed up, Ron. Uh, there's only a, less than a handful of spots left on that trip. Jen told me uh, the trip is uh, is uh, next year is October 10th through the 16th. Ricky's going to go on that trip again, and uh, and so yeah, no that more, no more horses pre show yeah, yeah, trip no, next no year. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there. And so <laughs> if you want to get signed up, you better jump on it right now because that is a very very popular trip and a great oh gosh and now we're telling that to everybody on air and i didn't sign up yet you better get on i got one more hey ron lane thanks a lot for everything and uh thank you for being a great (laughs) representative for let's talk hookup we appreciate it and congrats on that giant yeah congratulations that's that's, that's awesome yeah all right well hey let's jump right back into the phones we're going to talk to doug who's calling us from montebello this morning hi doug got a good name there doug hey well thank you you do too (laughs) appreciate that what's going on I was gonna ask about those uh, like those pencil poppers or the hydro tigers. What would be best to throw it out there on a conventional reel or a spinning reel? Well, we're Good seeing question. those types of lures being thrown on spinning reels more than we ever did in the past. Um, the spinning reels of yesteryear were the coffee grinders that would blow up on a big fish, but you know some of these uh, twin power and Stella style reels by Shimano. Um, you know, they catch 150 and 200 pound tuna on those. And then you go down in the smaller sizes, you can catch the local tuna, you know, the 20, 30, 50, 80 pounders. So, um, that's a very viable way to go. The tranks on the other hand would be a good conventional reel to throw that kind of stuff on. And not that I would ever recommend that that's your 200 pound reel, but they have caught 200 pounders. But for that, you know, good grade of like 50 to 80 pound, maybe hundred pound fish, that tranks makes a great reel. And then just an appropriate casting rod, um, to go with those reels, either a spinning or conventional. All right. Uh-huh. Great, Doug. Thanks a lot for the call. You have a good name. <laughs> Great name there. Great name. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot of Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including we're going to get a chance to talk to our good buddy Ted from Gamakatsu. Lots more Let's Talk Hookup. You stay tuned. We're on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. If you're looking for a high-quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip, check out Cutwater Spirits' lineup of canned cocktails. Cutwater's master distiller and co-founder, Yusuf Cherney, is a hardcore fisherman. In fact, he developed Cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind. Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirits, uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila the zesty vodka mule, or the spicy Bloody Mary, which has some serious bite. They also make super refreshing vodka sodas in grapefruit, lime, and cucumber flavors. Just crack the can and enjoy a bar-quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight. Back at the dock or at your evening Anchorage in Catalina, Cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip. You can check out all 18 of Cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store. Then go ahead and set your cocktail free. Please enjoy responsibly. Gotta love California in the summer. Just remember, COVID is still with us. So if you're going to the water, plan ahead. Follow local public health guidelines and make sure everyone wears a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Get ready for the largest outdoor sale in our history. Saturday, November 7th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hi, this is Doug Kern, and we will have great savings from Daiwa on Lexa, Saltist, and Saltiga Reels. A fantastic offer on the Proteus Wind Grip Rod, too. Over 20 manufacturers reps, including Daiwa, plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, huge raffle, and most of all, incredible deals on tackle. Up to 60% off. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing. Saturday, November 7th. Check saltwatertackle.com. Lobster season is here. It's time to gear up with the best in the business. Promar, based in SoCal. Promar knows lobster and makes everything you need to catch these tasty critters. The Promar guys are hardcore lobster fishermen and have all the styles of hoop nets, including the new Ambush XL Heavy, 14-pound, 36-inch rigid hoop net, the largest allowed by law. Visit Promar on Facebook or on the web at promarnets.com. 
When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Seakeeper, the leader in marine stabilization, has launched its newest, smallest, and most radically different model, the Seakeeper 1. Now, for the first time, stabilization is available for boats as small as 23 feet. The Seakeeper 1 is designed to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll-on vessels 23 to 30 feet. With a fresh new look, the Seakeeper 1 has a compact flush mount installation and runs on 12-volt battery power. Installation is a breeze. It can fit under almost any seat, and now your skiff can enjoy Enjoy the comfort and enjoyment that only a Seakeeper equipped boat can provide. Check out the Seakeeper demo boat at upcoming shows and arrange a free test ride. Seakeeper has changed the lives of many Southern California anglers, including Pete Gray, and will allow you to stay on the fishing grounds when others need to head back to port. Visit Seakeeper.com slash take a ride to arrange a demo. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your trailer boat. Seakeeper. Once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cookup. Having a great time here with Doug from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Talking tackle days. Having a great time, man. We were talking some deals on Gamakatsu we were. products and hooks. We and were. we have the man, Ted, from Gamakatsu on the line. Good morning, Ted. What's up, Ted? Pete, Rick, Doug, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Hey, morning. doing terrific. Now, Gamakatsu is a big part of uh, tackle day at Fisherman's Landing next week, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's it's going to be so much fun, and I, I wish we could be there. But unfortunately, uh, with the COVID restrictions, we're not able to come down. But uh, uh, we're going to have um, uh, factory guys, but we're going to have our rep there, Rick Carr, uh, representing us with some great uh, staff on, on hand to kind of answer everybody's questions and that type of thing. So, so Doug, c- can you t- can you share with us again uh, what you're planning on doing for Gamakatsu there at the show? Well, so all hooks and definitely gamakatsu if somebody comes in the store and buys two packs they get a free one so right there they're getting the uh, 33 percent off and then you guys have been gracious enough to um if somebody buys 25 dollars worth of hooks and i mean if anybody's stocking up they're gonna buy that and then some and uh then they can come out to see rick and the boys and those blue divider boxes and i i just had no idea how nice those were um I'm I'm already gonna change them up. I've got storage on my boat, and and I'm swapping out to those. Those um, are nice. They're very nice, and I the you know those, so that's a value of like fifteen to twenty bucks that they're giving away. So um, and you get that with a twenty five dollar purchase. Well, that's, Any twenty five dollar yeah, so so if you buy twenty five dollars worth, you're already getting thirty seven dollars worth of hooks because of the buy one buy two get one free. Then you're gonna get a fifteen to twenty dollar divider box from from Rick. What if you get Fifty dollars worth. Well, it's you, it's you just get one box. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. One yeah, we're, just, we're oh, living that. So yeah, you can buy a thousand dollars. Well, good question. You're only getting one oh, box. One box. Okay. <laughs> Wall supplies last. No, it is limited. Don't you push buy, your yeah, luck, buddy. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. You buy a thousand dollars worth. You come see me. I'll make sure you get two yeah, boxes. We'll <laughs> two boxes. Yeah, no say, problem. We'll, we'll, fig- we'll figure something out. But yeah. no, it's definitely a uh, uh, one free case. I think the uh, the cool part about this whole promotion is. You know, uh, our, our general manager said, you know, it's been a challenging year for everybody. So let's do some things to get some people really excited and fired up about the event. And um, that's kind of how we approach this when we offer these deals to you guys. So, you know, as, as you were saying, Doug, the uh, $25 purchase, uh, come out and see Rick in the, at the Gamakatsu booth and he'll redeem that free case. Now, again, that's while supplies last. You know, we can only have so many down there, but we've got plenty, should have plenty down there for folks. And we approach this just to kind of say, okay, how can we do this to where everybody gets a chance to participate in the promotion? And so that, that's one aspect of it. The other thing that we're doing is if you purchase any amount of gamakatsu, if you just went and bought one package of hooks or a G-Box or anything of that nature during that event, you bring that proof of purchase over to the booth, you receive a raffle ticket for entry into our drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away four GK7000. This is a brand new uh, hard-sided case with all the optional accessories during the Tackle Day event. Now, these cases with the accessories are a retail value of $160, and we're going to give away four of them. Wow. So what we're yes. going to do is the drawings, the drawings, 
fully accessorized. It comes with the rod. So what it does is you've got the case itself. It'll hold all the G-boxes inside there. You can do a, a bunch of different configurations. Then there's a rod stand that can attach the, uh, to the side of it. So you can actually put your rod in there and store it when you're on a, on a, on a trip out on the boat. There's also a jig compartment that attaches to the side so you can store iron. As you're switching iron out and that type of thing, you can store those in there. And then it also has an optional uh, carrying strap on it. So this is going to come fully loaded, and we're going to do um, four of those cases. The drawings will be held at 11, 12, 1 o'clock, and 2 o'clock, and you must be present to win. So we, you've got to be there to win. So um, all you have to do is purchase just any amount of gamakatsu hooks or product, show that receipt, and you're entered into that drawing. Wow, and those I love that G Box Seven Thousand. That that is a great box. You have the the uh, the uh, the rod holder, the jig holder on the side. You can pull it off. You can take it in, take it out, and then you add the boxes inside. Uh, it's my new box. Yeah, it's, it's my sweet. new long range box. I well, I, I got everybody wants it. something yeah. different, and so this allows you to customize it to do whatever you want. For you right, know, I I take a lot of this kind of jig, or I right. take a lot of this kind of line, or you know whatever it is. You can just doll it up however you want, and then that's your long range box. Your local box, yeah. whatever your storage garage box, super lightweight. Yep. I mean, the top opens one side or the other, or completely comes off. Correct. It's very versatile. Yep. Yeah. 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 You guys did a nice job, Ted. No, I'm, no. I think another another aspect of this that we're, we're we kind of thought we're going into this project that we get people to go is the kayak guys. The guys that are out on kayaks, they love this thing because you can put, you know, four rods, uh, rod holders on it. And then now you've got storage for your rods plus all your gear. It's secure. You know, you see guys making up milk crates and all kinds of kind of homemade <laughs> things. And th and that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is makes a really nice little setup for, for a kayak situation as well. So oh, great I'm a lot idea. of response from that. Great um, idea. And we also... You don't even need to buy anything to get something. This is what this is the other aspect of our promotion. So, well, you can swing by the booth, see Rick at, at the Gamakatsu booth during the event, and sign up for our newsletter and re receive a free sun shield, your COVID mask. So all you have to do nice. is sign up for our, 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 our newsletter, and you're going to get a you're going to get a gift or get a free sun shield as well. So, um, we're, like I said, we try to approach this to where everybody could be involved that was going to come down and attend the event. And it's just our way of giving everybody a special thank you and, and appreciating everybody that comes out. And we just want to see folks keep on fishing. All right, right. Ted. That's awesome, Ted. Ted. Kamikatsu and, 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 of course, Rick Carr, great guy to represent Kamikatsu here. And uh, he'll do a fine, fine oh. job. We'll miss you, Ted, but Rick will do a fine <laughs> I job. I know. Indeed. I know. Well, listen, well, guys, we appreciate all the help and support. Look forward to the event and, and uh, hope it's well attended. Uh, and and uh, good luck down there. All right. All thanks, right. Ted. Thanks, Ted. Appreciate you joining us. Ted from Gamakatsu. Again, buy two, get one free. Yeah, that's just that's the that, starting right? point. Just, yeah. That's just the starter and then all the other stuff you yes. talked about on all, all Gamakatsu hooks. Yep. Wow. All right. Well, the phones are absolutely packed solid, as are the texts. Got a great text from our buddy Sam, and he says, I love Tackle Days. It's where I stock up on all my stuff. I always take advantage of the hook and fluorocarbon deals. Any big deals for this year's Tackle Day? Well, um, that is probably one of our anchors is, uh, you know, the Seaguar fluorocarbon. Ooh. And we pull out literally all the stops. It's the only time that we ever do this one day a year. Anything up to 60-pound test, and that's the blue label, the premier, the pink, the gold. You can mix and it. match. Buy one, get one free, equal or lesser value. Wall supplies last, and I think we bought enough this year that the supplies will last, but we have run out in the past. Yeah. That's just a storm the gate and stock up promotion. Buy one, get one free. Yeah. Is that Across on gold label? On anything. You can buy a oh. pink and a gold. You can buy a blue and a premier. It doesn't matter. Oh, man. Um, and uh, then if you want to buy the heavier line, so anything from 80-pound test on up, it's buy two, get one free. Wow. Um, but so the, but the, from, from, from 60 down... Yes. Is buy one, get one? Buy one, get yeah. one free. Across the board. Yeah. No wow. exception, no limit, no anything. And like then on the, on the big spools, uh, like if you want 200-pound test, 150, yeah. whatever, yeah. buy two, buy get, two one get one free. Buy two, get one free. So you can get your, Super deal. You know, you get your 80, your 130, your It saves your hundreds of dollars. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. people do. I mean... Are, is there a limit? No. There's and and the thing about fluorocarbon, it, is it lasts. It does. Totally. Yeah. No, I mean, so that's stock a, up for the season. So that's yeah. a, a really good one. And and then along the fluorocarbon lines, we've got the the Psycho by Aftco. Buy two, get one free. 
Um, so, you know, we've, we've definitely got the, the high end good stuff at the right price. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, uh, I have a great text going here. Um, and this is uh, a question for Doug from Rich P. in San Pedro, or Pedro, whatever you want to say, but I think it's Pedro. It's Pedro. Okay, good. All right. What is your personal big fish flatfall setups? Rod, reel, line, hook setup. That's what. Uh, that's a good question yeah. from Rich P. Yep. Um, probably it would be a Talica 25. Um, you would put 100 or even 130 Spectra all the way to the top. Um you would probably use a Calstar 770 extra heavy rod. and That's um, the seven foot that you guys were talking about. Yes, yeah, seven yeah. foot extra heavy. Some people would go to a heavy. Some people would go to a double extra heavy. But um, you that's, like the that's kind of the heavy. sweet spot is that extra heavy. Um, and then for the flat fall, either 250, a 300, or a 350, anywhere in that range, it typically should be a glow. But there have been fish caught this week on jigs that didn't glow but they're yeah. pretty wide open and uh 200 pound leader at least two feet long and um we replaced the hooks with the mustad assist two size 60 and we use the owner uh split rings in a size nine um so you want <laughs> hate to say this you want the weakest link in the chain to be the angler <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't want the tackle to fail um so y- you know there's so many things in that chain that can fail from starting the very bottom, the hook, the jig, the split ring, the line, uh, the leader, the reel, the rod, on up the chain. Everything has to be spot on to catch one of these giant fish, and that is the premier setup right there. There's other ones that will certainly work as well, but that would be my f- number one choice. All right. Very good. I'm every good. bit the same, but I like a 20 over the 25, and that's just okay. that's just me. Like a, for, Especially for jigging, right? A little narrower, easier to put it on the spool? Yeah, and I think that where you, you know, where that one over the other if you in addition to doing this fishing if you're also going to be doing uh yellowfin fishing down below on a lower banks type trip or something like that that's when you really need the line capacity of the 25 yeah bluefin i know that there are people that will hear this and yell at me for it <laughs> saying it but they don't take in my opinion they don't take as much line to get the job done as a yellowfin does i don't think they take as much line so what line are you going to put are you going to put max quattro on you're going to put hollow ace on it what are you going to i put like on? to fish hundred pound and uh, i think max quattro for sure gives you an advantage of having more line how mine is set up is with hundred pound hollow ace because max quattro wasn't a thing when i bought my right, reel and it right. the problem was it lasts so long you know there's but no the reason the advantage of hollow it. ace is if you get a bad spot in the line like we you talked about earlier you can splice it in and you're a hundred percent right exactly. you get 500 yards on there on a 20 on a 20 500 so yards a, of hollow ace so a 20 and we and we heard earlier today a 306 on the 20 so wow um so, so it, the 20 is absolutely fine yeah. I, I was just taking it to the sure, you sure. Know, most line and, capacity and and so you know the 20 and the 25 are identical reels other than the width of the yep, spool it gives you another 100 exactly. yards of line yeah. yep yeah. yeah so it just depends on your personal preference totally the, one the fits 20, in your hand a little better the, the other is, one holds more line the 20 yeah. is easier to hold and when you're cranking on a fish the wider reel will tip back and forth yes. more so yeah one yes all if as long as you don't lose all your line the 20 is the better reel all right very good let's go ahead and jump back in the phone you right? got it man dave in spring valley is hung on with us dave we appreciate you hanging in there good morning hey good morning guys uh can't wait for the show next weekend i'll definitely awesome. be there i'm having a heck of a time trying to find a trinidad 30 help me out yeah um every every manufacturer had challenge this year with uh, everything that's been going on starting with their factories overseas and their warehouses being closed down and everything just got behind um i i don't have any words of wisdom as to when those will be available i am confident that we will have them back in stock at the latest the first week of february um but I don't know that you're going to find one sooner than that. And if you do, you better snatch it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just tough. All, All right. right. Well, we'll, we'll I appreciate see, that. We'll see you at Tackle Day. And thanks for hanging in there. Thanks a lot for the call. Rosie Flowers is on the line from Sedro Sport Fishing. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, guys. How are y'all doing? Hey, it's been a busy show. It has been. Well, oh my gosh, you know, Floro on sale like that. Who's not going to be running down there? Holy right. cow. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, hey, I just wanted to... 
let everyone know that our La Bocana trips are a go. Um, we've got a couple of spots still available on our November 5th through 9th trip. we got two spots available. And November 9th through 13th, we got five spots available. And I just talked to uh, Hector down at La Bocana, and he said, you know, big yellow tail are biting, uh, Dorado are biting. We've got some good-sized grouper going. And he goes, in November is when the, uh, the wahoo uh, and the, t the big, bigger tuna come on in. So if anyone's looking for a trip, we still got a couple of spots available to La Bocana. Sounds awesome, like an Rosie. awesome, awesome adventure. I know you talked about it last week, and it sounds like a great adventure. So I know uh, uh, several of our listeners signed up after last weekend and said, I got to go on that yeah. trip, but it just sounds fantastic. They, they did. They did. Yeah. And I tell you what, we're all ready for you guys. You know, it's like we're doing the same thing that we do at Cedro Sport Fishing. This is all inclusive, and we've made it so easy. We literally fly a little bit south of La Bocana by about a 10, 10 minutes. Um, there's a runway right there, so from, from the, the airstrip up to La Bacana is literally about a 10 to 12 minute drive, and, and then you are there. So, uh, pretty darn Wait, Rosie. Well, how do we get a hold of it? We want to book one of these trips. All right, you guys, so give me a buzz. Phone number for us is 619 772 7570, or you can give me an email at rosie at sedrosportfishing.com. All right. Thanks, Rosie. Good luck with the trips. And uh, well, I wish I could go. I <laughs> yeah. cool. appreciate Thanks so it. much, you guys. All right. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and jump back on the phones. You Rick. got it. Brian and Wildemar is up next on Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, Brian. Hey, guys. How you doing this morning? Happy hey, Halloween to you. You too, bud. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out there and fish with my uh, orange and black jigs today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, question uh, for Taco Days. You guys touched everything I had my questions about, but um, the seminars. Uh, who, what, when, where? Are they on the boats? What's so, the deal? So, um, you know, you've been to Tackle Day. It sounds like in the past, and we've always had many seminars on the boats and a main stage. And the boats are all fishing, so we've <laughs> um, we've called an audible, and we have two stages: the east stage and the west stage. Um, the east stage is the old main stage there on the side of the building, and then we've, on the other side of the building, we've got a very similar stage, and um, we have. Uh, a good lineup, and um, Rick has done an amazing job putting these together. And I'm going to let Rick describe the uh, speakers and their topics, but we've got a good, diverse um, uh, number of speakers and, and topics. And it's going to be awesome ones, uh, starting with Captain Bill Cavanaugh from The Intrepid is going to be doing a long-range big bluefin seminar. At the same time, we will have the pen fishing guru, Steve Carson. The one and only. Yeah, doing uh, kind of three- to ten-day trips and artificial jig fishing, flat falls things like that the next round of seminars we have a really good one captain brandon nelson who we uh, have Ooh. had on here before from lucky bee sport fishing and he'll have his big go fast center console here to, to show it off he'll be covering kind of tuna fishing from a private boat uh, standpoint nice at the same time danny wade the legendary socal jig fisherman will be talking surface iron jig fishing that is one for sure not to miss uh then we have uh sean sebring as we talked about doing um the smoking fish seminar and last Last but certainly not least, our great friend, Captain Buzz Brizendine. Um, he's going to be covering the kind of local bluefin fishing on those day-and-a-half style trips. Wow. Tackle technique, all that. Wow. Really good. Really names, good. And yeah. then, of course, it all starts off with a live broadcast of Let's Talk Hookup, 7 to 9 a.m., and we're going to just yank great people in uh, from among the people that are setting up exactly. and have a variety show like we do. That's, a, that's, that's a, always like my favorite. We don't yeah. even have a guest. We have... 25 guests. guests. Yeah, it's going to be really Everybody. cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be cool. It's, it's and maybe we'll grab some of those speakers to talk I, a little bit. I, I already got uh, Bill yeah. Cavanaugh and Steve Carson lined up okay. to, to make right. sure that they're going to be maybe part of it. Brian, uh, Brandon, Brandon Nelson. Nelson. Yeah, yeah totally. maybe we can grab him. With that. But, but, but all the tackle manufacturers and such like that, it's going to be – you don't want to miss no, it. No, that's a fun yeah. show. It, it's the whole it, – well, the whole, so the whole event. Yeah. yeah, the whole event. You don't want to miss no it. No doubt. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, including finding out who's got themselves a $50 shopping spree. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. 
One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800 727 6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Saturday, November 7th is Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Seminars by saltwater experts, great deals on tackle, top tackle reps like Aftco with knives, Psycho Pro fluorocarbon, and incredible deals on Aftco clothing. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 7th. For local and long-range fishing, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among seasoned or novice anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. You need to check out the Islander on their website, islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two to five day fishing. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Filet knives shouldn't be disposable. Introducing Aftco Filet Knives that are built to last. Designed in collaboration with Boker Germany, Aftco Knives feature 4116 German stainless steel bonded with titanium nitride to ensure optimum corrosion resistance and exceptional edge retention. A non-slip TPR handle maintains a firm grip when processing game fish. Premium in every sense, Aftco Filet Knives are available in multiple length options to provide the right tool that gets the job done season after season. Filet Knives from Aftco. Any fish, any water. Welcome! Welcome back to Let's Talk Cook Up. Hey, having a great time here this morning, and it's time to find out the big winner of a $50 gift card coming down to Tackle Days. That is going to Brian in Wildemar. Brian, congratulations. You got an extra 50 to spend. Yeah, and thanks to all our callers. We sure appreciate that. Wow, what a fast two hours. The fastest, fastest two, two hours, hours on radio. radio. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy. Like, it's a true statement. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there's no doubt about it. And uh, so much to talk about, so why not just come down to Tackle Day and talk it all, right? Yep, it's just going to be a nice mellow day down at the water a mellow it's day outdoor it's gonna be fun it's just gonna be fun people are gonna cruise around check out the boats get some nice uh food to eat casting win contest. some prizes uh do the casting contest um, great food you're gonna have food there yeah we have uh the same food food vendor we've had the last two years and everybody loves it it's it's mexican food tacos and burritos wow and, uh, some tables set out there, socially distanced, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, sit down and, and watch and the wear your mask, contest. right? And when yeah, we're talk? asking everybody to bring masks. We um, we talked to the COVID compliance center, and we're all good to go on all that stuff. So, uh, okay. but yeah, we asked everybody to bring a mask and. 20 great vendors so uh, we'll just see everybody down here can't wait yeah next week it starts uh it starts uh seven o'clock with the let's talk hookup uh, officially the vendors will be up and running by nine o'clock nine to three and the store will actually be open until six o'clock so the deals will still continue on after the vendors leave and will you be able to buy things uh, between seven and nine or you have to wait oh yeah no out? our store opens at six in the morning and okay. you can come so in. So you can still be able to thing. get the deals even during the, the show. The inside deals. Okay. But the stuff in the booth will be open Outside. at 9 o'clock. All right. Come Very buy good, some raffle tickets. Thank you. Yeah, and raffle yeah. tickets. <laughs> hey, tomorrow, John Connor from the Islander will be here. Nice. Captain John's been on the fish, so that'll be a great one. Thanks to Adam in the studio. Thanks to Adam for doing all the great stuff on our app. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m., right back here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network.